Welcome to this video where we'll be taking a look at the new CSVCO module by Blue Lantern Modules. This is an 8HP CMOS shift register VCO with volt proactive tracking. It has a triangle core oscillator in it as well, and a harmonics generator with four sub-octave modes, six logic-based shift register modes with these toggle switches, a high-pass filter, a decay envelope generator, and a VCA. This is basically a full voice synthesizer in only 8 HP. This module is great for percussive sounds, making spooky chords with the harmonics generator, sound effects, and even piano-like notes at higher frequencies. And with all the different toggle switch combinations, in tandem with the harmonics and triangle core oscillator, it is just a timbre machine. And let's just jump right in and get started with the rundown of the module. So first we're going to start at the top of the module and we'll just work our way down. Right now I just have the main output plugged into the oscilloscope here so we could kind of see what's going on and just going into an attenuator here so we can cut that noise when we want it. First we have our horse tune knob here which covers a wide range of octaves and then we have our fine tune knob similar to every oscillator ever. And right now I have just the shift register noise coming through. And we can mix in the triangle core oscillator for some added pitch stability. And then we can add in the harmonics for some additional pitch. And then we have the selector here to select what octave we want for the harmonics. We then have our high pass filter because some of that lower end noise gets a little distracting and rattly. So we could cut that and get a little bit more defined pitch. It's nothing harsh as far as a high pass filter goes, but you could hear it cuts out that low end noise. And this brings us to the fun part of the module, the ship register toggle switches here. So the left switch is just a two position toggle switch. And the right one is three, down, center, and up. Right now, both of them are set in the off position. The left one is down, and the right one is in the center. This is just giving us a frozen pulse wave from our shift register. Here, I'm going to turn the harmonics and the triangle down so we could hear just the shift register. Now, when we turn sprites on, we get a shift register loop. Now it just sounds like noise, but it is actually a looping of the ship register. Now if I turn the sprites back off and we jump to the right section here, I could go down to jitter or cloud and we're just getting random now. As opposed to the looping ship register here, it's tough to hear the difference, but when we get into certain pitches, you can kind of hear it better. So that is looping, frozen, random, and random. And now when we turn the sprites on to that looping, we can vary the loop with jitter and cloud. Now these are just producing variations of the loop to give you something a little bit different. And every time you switch it, it gives you a little bit different timbre. Now the only difference between clouds and jitter is clouds works a little bit faster than jitter but it's not as noticeable to the ear. And now let's quickly jump down to this external input here, which just moves the shift register along. So this is kind of like switching your switches here to get different sounds. Or you could use it with a gate, a trigger, an oscillator, an LFO, whatever you want. I'll just plug in a gate from cells here. And you could hear every time it's getting a gate. It is shifting that shift register along, giving us new timbres. I'm going to turn these back up. And let's check out the VCA and the envelope. So you can see the top output here is just our main output. We also have our VCA out here for the full voice synth. Now this can receive triggers in the trigger input to trigger our decay envelope, or we could just hit the trigger button. 
and we have control over the decay time, which is very, very similar to DDK, where we could get really long exponential decays. In addition to that, we also have the volt per octave tracking input here, and then we have a decay CV input here to control our decay knob. And that is the CSVCO. Now let's take a look at some patches. Now I'd say the toughest part of this module is actually just tuning it, because you can't just throw it in a tuner because of all this noise. Now what I've found is the best way to tune it is by ear, throwing it in the locked pulse position here, turn the triangle wave up, and the harmonics up, and I usually put it in about the second one there. Now I'm going to pull up another oscillator that is tuned to C, and we're just going to match that pitch. Now it's the same thing with calibrating it. I had to do a little bit of calibration on it. But it's the same thing with just doing it by ear and I got it pretty damn close. So now we're in tune and we can play our sequence. And that is tuning the CSVCO. Now at this patch, we'll take a closer look at the external input, which is the shift register move along input. Right now I have the triangle wave and the harmonics all the way down so we could just hear what's happening to the shift register noise. Here have a sequence of triggers just coming into the trigger input here. No volt per octave, obviously. And let's see what happens with our shift register locked here with both of them set to off, meaning we're just getting a pulse wave. The move along is going to change up our pulse wave every time it receives a gate or a trigger. And we could hear we're getting different sounding notes almost from the changing timbre because it's kind of adding different chord notes to it, so to speak. Now we could hear the constant pitch if I could turn the triangle up and the harmonics up. So we kind of get that backing pitch wobbling from this input. Now let's see how this sounds with the different toggle switch options. Here it is with the sprites on, meaning it's looping shift register rather than locking it. And we could hear it's kind of pausing it and stopping it and moving it along as we go, giving it a really cool effect. Here it is with the random shift registers. It's still moving it along, but a little different. That one sounds a bit more static, actually. And I'll turn the sprites off and have complete random, and we could hear it's kind of stopping and starting the shift register. And let's hear all the sounds with just a high gate rather than triggers. You can see when it has the high gate, it is freezing it. So really cool control over that noise when you want it to kind of go crazy or freeze up, which is really nice. Great for expressive sounds. And now let's check out all the different timbres we can get, sending a volt per octave sequence in here and just playing around with the settings. And I just have the output going into 2HP delay for some additional effects.
And now let's check out a more stabby dance sequence here. And I have an LFO going into the decay CV input to turn our knob for us. And that is the CSVCO by Blue Lantern. If you like this video and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.